Crypto markets have taken an absolute beating ever since the all-time highs were taken out in November of 2021. You know, back then, everything was going to the moon. Crypto was the future. And after a brutal two-year bear market with price action significantly below all-time highs, the space is filled with self-doubt and people are wondering, hey, is this ever going to get any better? Many people are calling crypto a scam and even multi-cycle, multi-year veterans are completely giving up and leaving the space, quitting crypto entirely. And people are leaving in waves. But in this video, I'm going to explain why that might be the biggest mistake you could ever make in your life and why right now you should be doing the exact opposite. I'm explaining this video as a blockchain developer myself who's been through multiple crypto cycles and has worked with this technology on a daily basis pretty much every day since 2017. And so if you're tracking with everything I'm saying in this video today and you don't know how to become a blockchain master, then make sure you smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And I can show you everything you need to know step by step from start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right, so let's get into this. Let's first talk about why so many people are just quitting crypto entirely. Well, in one reason, it's pretty easy to understand, okay? Pretty much every crypto metric is in the gutter, okay? Exchange volume for cryptocurrencies, basically how much getting bought and sold every day is insanely low. Cryptocurrency prices have been low for two years and really haven't made a recovery back to their all-time highs. On-chain activity for things like DEXs and token trading is really low. Social media engagement for anything crypto related is really low. For example, my YouTube channel, you know, my videos would get five to 10 times more views than they currently are whenever crypto is going up. And anywhere you look online where people are talking about crypto, the sentiment is completely negative, and I see posts all the time talking about people are just leaving the space entirely. So why are they doing this? After all, there's lots of people who have the belief that crypto follows these four-year cycles, and if that's the case, then we might be at the beginning of another crypto cycle that's going to start pretty soon if it hasn't started already. Well, I think there's lots of people who are also on the other side of the equation thinking that, hey, this time actually is different. We don't have the same types of hopes that crypto can make a comeback anytime soon for lots of, you know, seemingly good reasons. For example, the macro economy is still not good. The stock market has not recovered to its previous all-time highs. Okay, we've got things like interest rates are still high. Inflation is still a problem. We've got fears of a global recession, potentially a depression, global wars breaking out, and lack of technology adoption that's behind what people expected during the last 2021 bull cycle. Basically, DeFi and NFTs, people aren't quite using them as widely as they expected. And all these things instill doubt in people's minds that makes them think that this can't get better, that they're just going to throw in the towel and quit and not do things like you know, invest in their skills and, you know, break into the blockchain industry, which is exactly what I teach you on this channel. Not necessarily to invest in crypto, but to get into the industry because that's the real way to make a sustainable life change. But what if things actually aren't different this time? Okay. What if all these objections are really just noise and things are more or less playing out like they did in the past on the big picture? Well, if you take that approach, then really what you're seeing here is more of a time-based capitulation. So what does that mean? Well, basically, you know, if you look at the last cycle, a lot of people got out of crypto during this leg down because basically the price dropped by roughly 50%. And whenever you see a 50% drop, people's pretty sure the party's over at that point, okay? And then things got recovered and then it dropped further. <laughs> you know, basically that's capitulation based on price action. But now you have this time, this like, two years basically where crypto still doesn't really look like it's convincingly moving upward and so you have all these people that have waited this long and they're like man i'm just done and they use all these other things excuses but really it's just the amount of time that you've waited and things just still haven't gotten better yet so how could quitting now be one of the worst mistakes you could ever make okay so a little bit more about my story and my background. Again, I talked about at the beginning of this video that I've been in blockchain since 2017. I got in during the last crypto bull cycle and I've been through multiple cycles at this point. So my first one, I got in and you know watched things go up and then w went down and crypto was way less mature than it is now back then. And sure, I lost a lot of money in the crypto markets, but that really wasn't what I was concerned with. I knew the technology was here to stay and that things would eventually come back. And so during 2018, 2019, 
I stuck my head down and got to work. Instead of investing in crypto, which I still did, I made it my first number one priority to invest in myself and my own skills. So I got way ahead of everybody else by learning world-class blockchain development skills and also building up my YouTube channel during that time when pretty much nobody cared about crypto, especially not compared to how they do now. And all during that time, I was still doing freelance projects. I witnessed the birth of DeFi and really watched NFTs come out from the ashes. And then when the space came back again during the next bull cycle, I was way ahead of everybody else that wanted to get on the hype train once crypto had made new all-time highs. And I believe the exact same opportunities on the table right now. And so while everyone else is quitting crypto, it could be the worst mistake you could ever make in your life because you're missing that exact opportunity that I'm talking about that can yield exponential returns, not by investing in crypto. I'm not telling you to do that or not to do that. This is not financial advice. I'm telling you about investing in yourself and why right now there's a golden opportunity to do that and acquire these skills which take time and get ahead of everybody else so that by the time things come back and get crazy again, you're light years ahead of everybody else. And if you do that, and you have the expertise by the time that wave hits, that's when things get insanely easy, okay? If you have any type of blockchain development skills, people are gonna be beating down your door, trying to launch new projects, grow existing projects. It's a completely different time than what it is now. But the only way that you're gonna be able to capitalize on that is by sticking with it now or starting now, while so many other people are just tempted to quit because it's been a while and things don't look you know, frothy. So when will this happen? Okay, well, truthfully, nobody has a crystal ball. Sadly, I don't have one either. And while it's widely thought that 2024 is going to be the beginning of the next crypto cycle, a lot of people talk about that, you know, pivoting around the uh, Bitcoin halving cycles. I'm not necessarily a complete subscriber to the four year cycle narrative or the Bitcoin halving narrative. But I do think it's possible that the four-year cycles generally play out. While I'm not necessarily guaranteed that, I do think it's possible. But the bigger picture is I do think that crypto will have a comeback relatively soon on the grand scheme of things and that there's just enough time to develop those skills that I'm talking about to be really effective before that happens. But by the same token, it could happen next month. Nobody knows for sure. And so without that clairvoyant insight into the future, what's the best possible thing that you can do? Well, it's to double down and take action today and start developing those blockchain skills before everything gets crazy again. So how can you do that? Well, first of all, smash the like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And you can go to my YouTube homepage. You can find those free courses there. They're like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. But if you want to go through the throat and become a blockchain master as fast as you possibly can, then I can show you how to do everything step-by-step step from start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You really don't need to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real-world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.